Today's video, I'm going to be going over the dollar defense post patch and kind of just breaking down how I'm running it. Cover six, Willie, DB fire two, edge blitz three, cover four quarters. These are the audibles you need to have. And then in your coaching adjustments, auto flip off and auto alignment to base. These are the two main things. I don't set zone drops really, and I play on uh, option defense conservative. Double safety go, you're going to flip this defense. Okay, so you have it flipped. Now, the first setup here is going to be the base sun four. So you're just going to audible to cover six, Willie. You could do whatever you want from a coverage perspective. You can create a match defense by using seam flats. You can shade underneath, which will cancel match and play just a base cover four. You can get really adjusty and turn one side into a cover two and one side into a cover four. Don't really care. Whatever you want to do from adjustments, that's fine. I normally, uh, for this defense, like to kind of stand out here. There is some, there is some reasoning to stand like right here, for example. Sometimes you can get this crazy thing. But let me just show you. Uh, let me just kind of show you what you would get over here. And you'll see a lot of times that guard kind of pulls out, and then you see that the A-gap's there. Now, they are going to ultimately start to slide protect in different ways. One of the ways that they will slide protect is they will slide. They'll do like a half slide, half slide to the right, okay? Half slide to the right. That's where you want to use edge blitz three. So edge blitz three against like a half slide to the right. Still, still sitting forward, just attacking a different angle of the line. And as you see, when they half slide to the right, the edge blitz three is is very much a pretty good, pretty good, pretty good option for you. Another thing that uh, I did want to mention is if it's just a base protection, a lot of times edge blitz three is is really good because of the way they patch the left guard. The left guard kind of sucks to the middle, and it leaves edge pressure open. So then. The only real protection that they would ever kind of get into that would help them would be a half slide to the left, which is what a lot of people were doing beforehand. So for this, I'm going to go to DB Fire 2, and instead of looping with, or instead of like usering out to the right, I'm just going to run down at the guard and then back into coverage. So I'm standing here, sta same spot, but now I'm going to go down and then out into coverage, and you see that these guys, these slot corners, can basically – loop around the defense now if you wanted to you could you could send four um you don't have to you know if you wanted to do it like this be my guess you don't have to you know you don't have to send five out of this you can just send four a lot of times this will come in now let me show you that same blitz let me show you that same blitz against a half slide so again a lot of times they're going to have ultimately half slide to the right side right so we're in DB Fire 2. We can just put this guy in whatever. If you want to contain, be my guess. I don't know that it makes a huge difference, but I do think the contain is pretty consistent. And as you see, you get that four-man pressure. In-game, all these blitzes work better, and they come in a little bit faster than they do in practice mode. One real sly thing that I did want to mention about Cover 6 Willie is you can send the slot corner. So if you want to send five, out of any of the defenses that I just talked about, I would recommend sending five out of cover six Willie, probably like this. And what's going to happen is this this will really get a nice clean A-gap loop pretty much every single time, almost regardless of the protection, to be honest. Um, if they block a running back, a lot of times just sending the slot corner here is just going to result in, in really clean pressure. You see there, that's against a blocked running back, and we're getting – getting pressure sending five. So this is pretty much what I'm doing out of dollar post patch. There's not a ton um, of other big things that I would say. One other thing that I did notice that they changed in this game is with your safeties now, you can utilize a – you kind of get this outside third adjustment, and I think it's a great change because you, you now can put basically cover three cloud – on like anything that you want to do. So like, let's say it's going to take a little bit of getting used to here, but let's say we wanted to create a coverage like this. This is now a really, really good coverage and you have that outside third. So you could do something like this. Um, if you wanted to pre uh, pinch, pinch the D line and stand here, I think this is a better way to run DB fire, but not really a huge deal either way. And then one last thing I wanted to leave you with again, situationally, this send four off of the left side of the screen. It has to be off the left side of the screen. Um, but the send four off the left side of the screen is really, 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 really good. Um, let me just kind of go over how I would set up my coverage out of this. I would probably 
it's going to really take me a lot to get used to these new safety adjustments. But you see, we're kind of sitting like this. And a lot of times you'll get this guy to just really super loop around the edge. So there it is. Dollar post patch. Kind of just wanted to do a little bit of a breakdown over pretty much everything. I think that this defense is is really, really good. Uh, I really think this defense is really, really good post patch. This There's a lot of ways to blitz out a dollar, which ultimately is why dollar is always the best defense in the game. If you guys want to check out my updated ebook for dollar and what I'm doing and kind of how I'm coverage, uh, you know, how I'm bagging stuff post patch, make sure you're in the school community. That's where you get all the ebooks, everything for just 10 bucks. The link is in the description below.